Okay, so welcome back. This is part three of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, we continued on with the design of the site. We got our navigation and our footer started. And we also put in a little bit of text. Uh, but the text looks really bad because it's really squished together. Everything's really squished together. Uh, so we're going to fix that. So we want to come to our content. And we're going to say min-height. So what that means is we're going to set a minimum height of this entire content area, and I'm going to set it to 400 pixels. So if I save and refresh, you can see that this kicks this down way down there, which is exactly what we want it to do. So this text will always be here, and this won't move unless all of our content is greater than 400 pixels. So that's exactly what we want it to do. Um, now you may want to change this to your height, your liking, or whatnot. But yeah, it's just uh, something simple for now, and I'll probably change it later. Uh, so I, I paused the video right there. I had a really bad cough. Okay, um, so what we want to do now is we're gonna style our links for our nav and our footer. So let's come inside of our nav and let's just start creating some links. So a href equals, and I'm just gonna say pound. So it's not gonna go anywhere. And I'm gonna end the link, and I'm just gonna say home, and <coughs> copy and paste it a couple of times. I'm gonna say about, or I'm just gonna say link, 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 and link. So we now just have these links inside of here. If we refresh the page, you can see, oh no, it's all the way over here. Uh, now the reason it's all the way over here to this left side is because uh, we have this image. That's where the image starts. That's where the the nav uh, area starts. It starts all the way over here. But we want it to start like somewhere right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a margin inside of here or a, a padding inside of our nav. So let's go to our CSS page and scroll up to our nav. <coughs> we want to say padding dash left. And our padding is going to be, uh, say, 10 pixels, I guess. Let's try that out. 10 pixels. So I kicked it over some, but not quite as far as I wanted it to go. So I'm going to change it to 20 pixels. And I'm actually going to change the color. So it's going to be the text color. I'm going to change it to uh, white. That's the code for white. So it's going to be more visible. And actually, actually, a link. So, <coughs> uh, we're gonna have to do this real quick anyway. So I'm just gonna do it now. And pound f f f. There we go. Whoops. There we go. So we now have that's now white. Now this has kicked over a good amount. So that's about where I about where I want it. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, I'm going to get rid of that there, and I'm going to copy and paste that, and I'm going to change this to the right side. <coughs> so it's not going to change if I refresh it, but uh, there's now the same amount on the right side. So it's exactly what we want. Um, so now what we want to do is, uh, is to uh, style our links, so right here. So to style a link inside of inside of another element, you just say a right there. You see that? That that means we're going to style the anchor tag or the a tag. Uh, that's pretty much only used for links for the most part in web pages, unless you're doing some semi-advanced stuff. Uh, but we might get to that. We might not. Um, so we're going to style all the links inside of the navigation area. So uh, as of right now, we're just setting the color to white. That's all we're doing. Uh, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set the font dash size. So I'm gonna set the font size to eh, say 20 pixels. Uh, so what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it nice and big, so the text is a lot larger, easier to see. Um, scroll down some. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the underline on it. So I'm gonna say text dash decoration. And our decoration is going to be none. So if we refresh, we now don't have the underline, which is what we want. 
<coughs> now, if you wanted the underline, you can leave that, or you can change this to underline, or you can change it to overline, or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, space out our images. So, we're going to say padding dash left, and we're going to put a left padding on this of about... 25 pixels, I think, and I'm going to do the same thing for the right, so I'm just going to copy and paste it, so right, so it's going to kick these apart by 25 pixels, now right now that looks way too spaced out, uh, but we're going to change that because we're going to put uh, a nice little hover effect in a bit, uh, but now what we want to do is we want to kick it down so it's nice and centered in between uh, the top and bottom of our area here. <coughs> So, to do that, we want to create a top margin and a bottom margin, but we don't want it to be 25 pixels. That would be bad. Um, and I'm going to set this to about, I don't know, I'm going to set 4 pixels and 6 pixels. So, if I refresh, you can see that actually did not work at all. <laughs> Um, <coughs> padding and top, padding, ah, that's why, um, this also needs to be inside of our, uh, our nav area thing, 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 right there, and I'm actually going to change this to 25 and 25 as well, uh, just to keep everything kind of consistent, so yeah, <coughs> so you can see, that this is now kicked down a lot more, uh, but it's still not quite where I want it. Um, so, um, actually, I'm changing this back to 20. Forget it. Um, so, <coughs> sorry, I'm getting a really bad cough. Um, so, I'm going to change the top right here to 5. I'm going to change this to 15. Uh, and I don't think that's actually going to make any visual change or at least not very much. Uh, that is uh, kind of for aesthetics for later. Um, I'm going to change the padding on the bottom to 5, and I'm going to change this to 5 as well. So it kind of going to kick it down a little bit more. Um, so for now, that's how I'm going to leave it. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on our hover effect that we, uh, that we have. <coughs> so we want to copy this code right there and paste it here and end our bracket and right next to our A we want to type in colon hover so we want to change our, uh, our this is going to, to style whatever we do when we hover over uh, our links in our navbar so the very first thing we want to do is we want to change the background color so background or not color the background image so background image and we want to say URL and then inside of here dot dot slash images forward slash and this was called rollover roll over bg i think it was dot png ng there we go um just gonna save and refresh see if that's it yeah that's it oh that's perfect okay so that is exactly what we wanted it to be so this nice kind of rollover effect uh, but the thing is, it, it kind of doesn't make everything flush. I mean, that kind of looks looks kind of nice, I guess. Uh, but I want to make it nice and flush and everything. Uh, this gives it a nice little pop-up effect, I guess. But I want to make everything nice and flush. So it's going to be perfect with the top of this. So, uh, for now, I'm going to comment that out. And I'm going to change it to a background color. <coughs> background dash color and I'm just going to change it to white white and so that's going to make it more visible so when we style it so we'll be able to actually see where it is uh, so I'm going to stop this video here this is the end of part 3 and in part 4 we will finish up the uh, navigation style and also we will throw it on our bottom uh, footer here and, uh, and then we'll uh, see where that takes us so, uh, check out the next part of the series.